City of mine. How I love, how I love the city of mine. Okay, hello and welcome to just a regular classic vlog. We got a, a day in my life today, maybe. We'll see how this goes. It's uh, 10 30 right now and I had my workout at 7 a.m. this morning, came back and got all of the work done that I needed to for like brands and stuff. Like I had to send in a few different posts for approval and stuff like that. So I sent all of those in this morning. I'm finally all caught up with that. I got the, uh, the Tula Glow stuff in, uh, in the mail for one of my campaigns that I'm doing over on TikTok. You guys see how glowy this is? <laughs> I love it so much. They sent the glowy one and then like the regular cooling eye balm. They're amazing. I am so excited to have them in my medicine cabinet now to use in the mornings. So we've got a nice little glow going on today. Okay, I am headed out to Lowe's and Ulta. I need to get a few things for the house at Lowe's. Like we need like locking door handles. Um, Haley is bringing Arlo, which is her cat. She's bringing her cat to the house finally today. She picks him up because um, she just got back last night. So we're going to have Arlo and Bentley in the house and we're hoping it goes well. It's probably going to take quite some time for them to get used to each other. We did introduce them beforehand and they did pretty good for like a first meeting for a dog and a cat. So we were like, okay, it shouldn't be that bad. Um, obviously it's gonna take a lot of time and patience, but um, we're gonna have them separated for a while until they're like, okay, on their own with each other. So we need to get locking door handles. Um, Cause she wants to be able to like lock her door to make sure like if we both leave that Bentley can't like press on the door handle and like accidentally get in and then have them loose without us being there. Um, and then Bentley is digging in the little garden that we have in the back so like dirt has been flying everywhere and I keep having to like sweep it up so I'm gonna go get like a little garden gate for that so he won't continue to get into there um, and then I need like dry shampoo and something else else I have a list in my phone so I don't forget but those are the errands that I'm gonna go run really quick and then I think I might take the scooter out to the beach again I did order I so all of the e-bikes I keep saying are on back order so I went on the website this morning and did a little like pre-order for it. So that'll come in like four to six weeks. Um, so I figure I'll just order it now and then just wait it out. But I'm very, very excited. So that is eventually going to be on the way. Hopefully I'll have an e-bike by October. But until then, I do have the scooter, which I love it so much. All right. I am back from running my errands. I'll show you guys what I picked up at Ulta really quick. So I needed more leave-in conditioner. I like the Unite one. But I couldn't find it. I guess they don't sell it there anymore. So this was another highly recommended one. So this is one I'm going to try out. I haven't tried this before either. But I thought this would be kind of nice. Because I feel like my hair gets pretty frizzy. Just like in between day to day. Because obviously I don't wash it every single day. Um, and then this is my favorite dry shampoo. So I just got a bottle with that. Also found a new uh, door handle. Since we realized that the ones that we have on our bedroom doors don't actually lock so just found these and then i picked up the little garden gate thing at lowe's so i'm actually gonna put that in the backyard right now before i forget because bentley is not allowed back there unsupervised until that is in because i am tired of cleaning up the dirt because then he had dirt all over his paws and he tracks it inside and it just gets really bad so i'm gonna go do that right now so i don't have to worry about it the rest of the day All right, so this is what I picked up for the backyard. It's mostly just this little area right here that he keeps digging in, so I'm hoping that this is like long enough. I think it's because there's another dog that lives over there, but yeah. Hopefully this solves the issue. It's seem pretty easy to install, so I'm gonna attempt to do this. of here for now. He literally walked in as I was putting these in, um, but if these don't work then I might have to get like taller ones. Hopefully this deters him from going back there anymore so we wouldn't have to worry about it. Because he's been fine over here. If he starts to move over here then I'm gonna have to get other ones. 
friends. Don't mind all of the trash that we need to take to the dumpster, but cannot wait to have like patio furniture and everything back here. So I ordered these things off of Amazon. I think if you guys have been following me since the studio apartment days. Is your ball stuck under there? What's up, bud? Um, you guys would have remembered me showing these. I got so many questions and comments about them when I did a morning routine. So these are already linked on my Amazon storefront, but they're just little like LED um, lights. So you can just put them right underneath your cabinets if you don't have um, lighting underneath like we don't. So these are really nice if you don't want to have like full lighting on like in the morning or at night when you just want like dim lighting. These just take um, like three AAA batteries. I usually buy the batteries off of Amazon, but I forgot after I ordered these. And then they have a little remote, which is awesome too, to turn them on and off. And you can change how dim they are. You can also set a timer for how long they're on. Obviously, if you're using them a ton, you're gonna go through batteries quick, but these are really great to have. So I thought they'd be nice to have in this place as well. So I think my mom actually ended up taking the ones from my old apartment and putting them in her house because my last apartment had the little under cabinet lights, but these are such a nice affordable alternative if you're looking for something like this for your apartment or your house as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these up. They just have like the little command strip style things to stick them up and then they're just little like clickable ones too where you can use your nuts. one under this one and then one here and then I have two here and two here you can hear people's dogs going crazy out there oh wait I think I need to take this out before the battery's gonna work okay this should work now so usually you can just point it oh wait they're all on there we go <laughs> you can see them turning on and off Usually if you like point it in the general direction, they'll like all turn on together or off together. So, super nice. And then one remote works for all of them, but then you have like a nice extra one in case you lose this one. There we go, cool. Okay, I guess we'll just put these here. Yeah, sweet, that was easy. Done with that little project. All right, it's quite a bit later now. I had a few more meetings in my schedule than I realized today and a lot of emails to do and some content to film and submit. So once I got back from running all of my errands earlier, I ended up having to hop back on more meetings, getting more stuff done. But I got all the like the little garden thing set up. I think I showed you guys that. Um, the locks got changed out, so we got that fixed as well for our bedrooms. Um, and then what else did I get? Oh. My rug from Amazon came. I have just been so tired and out of it from this move. Didn't even realize that I ordered the exact same rug that we have in our living room for my bedroom. So if you like the rug in our living room, um, I will link it because I somehow managed to order the exact same one. But at least I know like I like it and it looks nice. So I think I'm gonna unroll that really quick and um, Put that underneath my bed frame because the slats underneath like the two center support beams have been like sliding out sideways and breaking so then like the middle of my bed will start sinking in so i'm gonna make sure that i fix that and now that i have a rug i won't have to worry about that because i didn't have this issue in my old place but i've been having the issue here with the hardwood floors so i'm gonna roll out that rug and get that situated and uh, then I'm gonna have to worry about that anymore so this is the massive rug it's literally the exact same rug I'm like laughing so hard at myself but this is what it looks like so it'll look nice in my bedroom I hope I really hope so we'll see let me let me see the current situation here um locks got changed out these are great um okay so I don't know if I can manage this by myself, but I'm going to attempt to. And if not, maybe I'll wait till Haley gets back. 
<laughs> and her and her boyfriend can help me. And then this will be, then this will be good. Hi, baby boy. Well, okay. I definitely can't do that while he's on top of it. But okay. I think I might be able to do it. We'll see. I'm, I'm going to attempt to do this by myself and see how it works out. I think the rug is supposed to stretch. Um, the... The hope is to have it like just in front of the nightstand so the nightstands won't actually be on it and then it'll stretch out this way a little more um so then i'll have like something to sit on in front of the mirror when i do want to do my makeup and stuff i still need to get that all figured out and i think i want to just put it all in a little bin right next to my mirror and then i think that'll be good i think it'll work out okay let's grab the rug Or it might be a similar pattern, but just a lighter version of it. We'll see. <laughs> Honestly, don't even know, but I kind of like how light it is. It's honestly kind of nice. Like, I think it'll help brighten it up a little bit in here, since I truly do have so many dark accents already. And then, like, the canvases and the shelves are white. So I think this might actually be a good pick. I think it's a similar pattern, so maybe not the exact same as the one that we got, but they do have a bunch of different color options um, on Amazon, so I will leave a link for you guys if you guys want to check it out, but let's, uh, let's unroll this baby and attempt to do this by myself. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work. This was not a one person job, but I do like the rug. I will say that it'll be just enough, a little bit of light coverage in here once I continue to uh, bring it out of the bed. This is just gonna take me a hot minute to get this done by myself. All right, so Haley and Charlie got back home and they helped me put the rug down. So this is so this is what it's looking like, minus all the stuff that is like holding it down right now so I don't trip over it. Here's a better view. I honestly love it. It's not the exact same pattern as the one in the living room, but it's very, very similar. So I will go ahead and link this for you guys. It is coming off more like on camera, very gray and black and white, but I'd say in person it's more of like a blue toned gray, black and white vibe. But it honestly fits perfectly in here because the walls are like a gray blue and then we have obviously all of the other colored color tones in the bedroom hi we also have arlo here finally so i have to keep bentley in here for a little while while arlo explores you see where he is oh. he's right over there nope i think this is the first time bentley is actually seeing him <laughs> We've met once before. Just one time. Oh, I think he was trying to get in that cabinet while I was <laughs> in here because I kept hearing a little banging. I'm gonna go check on him. But they are going to get some stuff for Arlo. Um, and then they're gonna bring back tacos. I think we're gonna do like tacos and beer because it's Taco Tuesday and just have a chill night. Let Arlo <laughs> acclimate to uh, the, new, the new house and uh, Hopefully, Bentley will get used to him quickly so we can have them like just run free in here. Um, yeah, I love the look. It looks so nice. There you go. There's like a better picture for the color. It looks so good in here. I like it. And it soaks up some of the sound because we have wood obviously throughout the entire house. So it gets very, very echoey in here without rugs. So I love this. I love this for a mirror photo. Eventually, I will take some mirror photos in here 
for Instagram because we got the plants in the background. I just noticed though that my AC unit is going to be making an appearance in the photos. So that's cute. Maybe I'll just stand up. It doesn't really matter. It's okay. Okay. I also don't even know if I showed you guys the office and how that all came together. So let me show you guys an office update as well because the bedroom and the office are now fully put together. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to do that last night. Um, but I started cleaning the hall closet because Haley was coming back last night and I wanted to like make room if she wanted to like organize or do anything. And then I ended up just cleaning everything. So let me show you guys what the office looks like. All right, so this is what the office looks like now. Organized all of this. This is kind of like a little overview of the shelves over here. That kind of came together nicely. And then the shelf has all of like my... Um, like self-help and just like those that style of book is all up there um and then these are all of like my astrology books and then all of my poetry books and then these are just um like coffee table style books i just totally not due to that water because we had been in the office for a little while when we first brought arlo in <laughs> hi sweetie hi say hello to the vlog fam i know you are so shy still Oh, so many new things. Um, but yeah, this is how the shelf is styled. And then this is kind of just like an overview of the desk, how this looks. And then this will be a nice blank wall to film a uh, film against if I do any like clothing hauls or anything like that, or I just need like a blank wall to film against or take photos. I have this now. And then this is pretty much minus the stuff on the desk. Um, this is this corner of it. And then eventually I will probably hang those up there and yeah i think that is what the office is going to continue to look like oh i forgot i had this window open oh hello oh okay those are all the updates for you guys it's been a very long day i'm glad i got that rug situation figured out though and like the rug came very excited about that i think i'm gonna go ahead probably end the vlog here i might insert a few clips when we get like tacos and drinks i don't know if not love you guys and i'll see you in the next vlog would you like to say bye